Hey, what's going on, dudes? It's everybody, it's David and Trevin, and we are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some big news that happened in NASCAR. It is announced that right here, Kurt Busch said that he will be leaving Stuart Haas Racing, which was clearly obvious, but Kurt Busch is a champion. He won the NASCAR championship in 2004 in the first year of the playoff systems, and since then, he hasn't had a good enough ride or he hasn't been you know like a proper driver like nice driver to win the championship but now that Kurt Busch has left Stuart Haas Racing that leads to open seat for that number 41 car now most likely Monster Energy the sponsor for Kurt Busch these past few seasons when they've been with Stuart Haas will jump ship wherever Kurt Busch goes because I think Monster Energy has just likes the way Kurt Busch is treating himself right now because Kurt Busch should have ha actually had a few more wins this season. So when it comes to the Kurt Busch situation, I think Kurt Busch will definitely find a new ride and he'll he'll be competitive in that ride. Now there are rumors going around, high rumors that he will be moving on to the number one car in at Chip Ganassi Racing. And I think that's a strong possibility because even though Chip, Chip Ganassi needed a driver that can really challenge Kyle Larson, because J I'm sorry, Jamie McMurray, but you did not ch challenge Kyle Larson at all. Like, throughout the, f what, Kyle Larson started in 2013, and Jamie McMurray barely even challenged Kyle Larson. So when it comes to Kurt Busch, if Kurt Busch actually does go in the, 40, um, the one car, I think Kurt Busch will be competitive, and I think Kurt Busch will be, you know, like one of the best in that one car. Because Jamie McMurray has been in that one car for a while. I think Jamie McMurray has been in that one car for like, since 2010 and since Jamie Matt Murray is leaving NASCAR and he won't be driving full-time next year then that leaves open spot for the number one car so here's what I think is going to happen I mean it's clearly obvious Daniel Suarez who just got fired from JGR because Martin Shrek Jr is coming over to the 19 team will go over to number 41 and Kurt Busch will move over to number one car now the only problem I have with this is sponsorship because Daniel Suarez definitely has a sponsorship with Iris, and they're going to probably move over to Stuart Haas. Then when it comes to the Chip Ganassi situation, McDonald's has always been sponsoring that one car. But when it comes to sponsoring Kurt Busch, I don't know if they're going to do that. If McDonald's does, McDonald's will probably stay with Chip Ganassi, it's just going to move over to the 42 car. But the sponsor for Kurt Busch, I honestly think, will still be Monster Energy next season. Because the way Kurt Busch has been acting in these past few seasons is like a proper NASCAR driver. Because Kurt Busch is, I think Kurt Busch is definitely more mature than he was back in around like 2008. When he was just acting like a crybaby, you know, like, he was basically one of the bad boys in NASCAR. He still is to this day. And I honestly think Kurt Busch will definitely find a good ride for 2019. Now, I do hope, actually, Kurt Busch wins a championship in these next two years, but I think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to happen because Kurt Busch... Because there are just too many big teams. There's Hendrick, there's Penske, there's Stuart Haas, and Chip Ganassi Racing is not one of those big teams anymore. So, I mean, with Kyle Larson, maybe... Actually, no, Kyle Larson's a very good driver, so I can't, ta I can't say that about Chip Ganassi. But with Kurt Busch, if Tri Kurt Busch actually joins Chip Ganassi, that produces two good cars that could win eat that could win basically on the daily on a weekly basis for Chip Ganassi. Because Kyle Larson can win races and Kurt Busch can definitely win races. All Kurt Busch has to do is just be in the right team and the right equipment. But other than that, yeah, that's I mean it's it's plainly obvious what's gonna happen. Kurt Busch is working on a deal, should be working on a deal with Chip Ganassi, Daniel Suarez is working on a deal with Sir Haas, and that's basically all that's going to happen because Jamie Matt Murray is leaving. I don't think Kurt Busch is going to definitely leave. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the whole Kurt Busch situation. I think Kurt Busch will definitely end up in that one car. And I think Kurt Busch will definitely win a few races next season. I'm going to say about two or three because that Chip Ganassi car with the Hendrick engines in it is one of the best cars in NASCAR. So, And Kyle Larson has proven that. So, Kurt Busch can win in that. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for all the support on these past few videos. Tell me if you guys, if you like this video by smashing the like button, subscribing to the channel. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Peace.